Okay, that <clears throat> that should do it. <sighs> okay. Whew. Do we got comments? Now we got comments. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I got comments. There we go. See, I can read it now. Free Joe Exotic. Yes. Yes. So cool, man. Big Thick Howdy. How's it going, brother? How is it going? I'm representing my Pixel Dan shirt right now with his uh, where is it? With his enamel. I got that at um, Dallas Toys and Retro Expo or uh, the one Jay threw. I don't, the one back in January. He was there. He was selling. It was fun, and that's where I picked up this cool Pixel Dan enamel. His wife was there, too. That was the first time I got to meet Pixel Dan's wife, and she was really, really fun. She's real cool. She's real cool to let him do what he does. He's real cool. Really? I, I, it's been fine for me. I just messed up in the last stream because it was a question that it asked me, um, is this going to be kids kid appropriate and like a dummy i hit yes because i don't plan on on stripping on here or, or cursing or anything so i hit yes and apparently i learned the hard way that uh it uh it blocks the comments so i can't i can't you no one can comment so what's the point it's not even fun hey what's up matt long time no see wow i know it's been a long time since I've been on here, it's been almost a year, I would say. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long time. I've picked up a lot of stuff since the last time I've been on YouTube. I mean, enough to almost open a store. It's that much. Um, my favorite TMNT figure has to be Raph. Raph is my all-time favorite. All-time favorite of ever since the 1990 movie where he kicked uh K or Casey Jones and him fought. That was like that was everything for me. Oh, uh, let's see. What's up, Wesley? What's going on? My quarantine is actually I'm still working. Um it's it doesn't stop for me. I'm not saying I'm essential. Or essential, but um, the cops told me I not I don't have to shut down because what I do is actually it is essential. So I won't go into it, but yeah, you could say it is essential. So uh, I'm not shut down. I'm still working. I'm still working. Uh, let's see. YouTube removed comments. A lot of their features. Yeah, I know. I I learned that the hard way in the first uh in the first uh. Five seconds of my stream. I couldn't read your guys' comments. Hey, Danny Club, thank you. I I, I, I like my voice as well. Uh, let's see. I've been restoring different kinds of Game Boys. Hey, Matt, that's awesome. I've actually bought a... I'll show you, as a matter of fact, here when I start to uh, get the ball rolling with what I want to show you guys. It's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a fun night, guys. Trust me. It's uh, I'm doing this mainly because of the quarantine it sucks i know it's a lot of people are complaining that they're stuck at home and i'm just like man what can i do you know i was just thinking about what can i do so i bought this cool little tablet so that i can read the comments um and then i'm using my cell phone to stream and it looks pretty good I mean, it doesn't look blurry if you can comment, because on my screen it looks really clear. But if it's clear on your screen, I'd like to know. If not, 
Maybe I'll try a different option. Maybe try like a streaming webcam or something. Um, oh, Matt says it looks great, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, let's see. Uh, Donnie all the way. I've been restoring different Game Boy. I know those things can get quite expensive if you can do it with the right um, stream, um, backlit screen. You got some money going on there. Uh, did you watch The Mandalorian? I did! It's awesome! Hey, wait, can I... I can curse now because this isn't for kids. It was the tits. I loved it. It was great. Oh, my God. I I, I, I messed up. Well, no, I did it because I didn't watch it at the beginning because when Mandalorian came out, I was making a movie with the Game Chasers in Dallas, and the Mandalorian was coming out. What's up, Eric? What's going on? I just noticed your name. What's up, buddy? Um, I'm just going to show these guys really quick. I was talking about the movie we were in just, just a second ago. So if you didn't know, Ape, Eric and me were in a movie. And um, this was in November. And The Mandalorian just came out in November. So as we were making the movie, every week that we were, we were uh, making the movie, we were missing the episodes because we were just too dang tired to watch The Mandalorian. We did home from filming 12-hour sessions. And we just zonk out. It was unreal. Like we were so tired. But uh, yeah, I, I completely binge watched it when it finished. It went all the way through. All the episodes aired. I binge watched all eight episodes, and I love it. Ah, uh, let's see. Everybody's saying it looks great. So let's just keep it like that then. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully in um, hopefully in uh, July by July the, the the movie will be ready. So, uh, what's my opinion on Nirvana? Like the band Nirvana? Um, they're cool. He was cool. David Grohl was cool. Uh, Kurt Cobain was cool. I hated his wife, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, any game, any news on the Game Chasers movie? Only that it's coming along. Um, I know the people that are working on it. Um, the visual effects artist, uh, Yoshi, he's the CGI guy. He is doing an amazing job with the CGI. You guys won't believe the type of work this guy's put into the movie. Um, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. It's He's done such an amazing job. And you're going to love it. It's going to be great. Trust me. You guys are going to love the movie. Uh, let's see. Uh, no more dumpster diving, unfortunately. And especially during the coronavirus. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. What's my favorite team in T-Toy? Would have to be the Technodrome. Uh, yeah, the Technodrome. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, you guys? I forgot to post this on Facebook. Son of a gun. So, uh, yeah, I know. I've missed you guys too, Franco. Um, let's see. Uh, so what do you guys want to start it off with? I've got video games. I've got 80s toys. I've got... Holy shnikes. What do I got? What else do I got? I got modern games that I can show you. I've got mind blown with what I can. I've got stuff. I've got bags. And I know I keep looking at this. I'm really sorry. I should be looking over there, but I'm looking at myself so that I'm not out of frame. But I've literally got bags of toys that I would love your help in identifying. So if you can, if you want to do that too, we can go through. Some time identifying toys. Just let me know what it is you guys want to do. I'm going to start reading the comments. And the majority will win. So comment away on what it is you guys want to see. Let's see. Uh, girls band Foo Fighters. I've seen them three times in concert. Yeah, man. There, I saw, I saw um, over the summer, Scott Squatch gave me and my friend Kingsley some tickets to go see Corn. Oh my God! It was an amazing show. They put on a show. Spend money on corn. They're awesome, guys. 
Uh, let's see. Toys, toys, ID toys. Just show everything. I can't do everything, Matt. Um, let's see. Do I have an eBay? No, I unfortunately, I don't have an eBay. I used to, but then people started scamming me, and I just quit. So, no more. Um, I guess we're going to do toys. How's about that? We'll get to everything eventually, but for right now, let's get to some toys. So I have to go off camera to, to retrieve these toys, and that's what's pretty much going to be happening because this is a lot of stuff, and it's all big boxes, so it's going to be it's going to get a little clunky in here. So, and I've also I also want to keep up with your comments. So uh, let me go get the first thing. I think you guys are going to love this first one. So give me a second, check this out. Hold up. Wait a minute. Don't go there because I ain't with it. Oh, my God. Now, if you guys are on my Facebook, you guys have already seen this. But here's something up close. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. Check that out. Woo! Look at that. Now that is sweet. So this is from 1980 Fudge Cakes. Uh, the fuck year is this? I'm manhandling this toy like it's not a toy made from 1986. This is 1986 Hasbro, you guys. This is Gem. Gem. What the hell is the, the band's name? Gem and the Rockers or something like that? I used, I used to watch this, oh my God, religiously, because I had a crush on Gem. I didn't ever find, I never knew she had this, this monstrosity of a car. Look at this thing. Holy cow. It comes with a built-in radio for those of you who didn't know and it's fm only so i'm okay with that i don't know if you guys can see check all that out man the wheels look at the hubcaps that's 80s right there now this was a cool this is sealed or else if this wasn't sealed you guys i'd already have this open for you guys straight up uh, sure, when we, hey, Chief, great to see you, man. Be safe. Thanks for putting on content during this crazy time. No, God bless you, brother. God bless you. I'm trying to keep up with comments. I'm sorry. So this thing was really cool, guys. They had this separate attachment, which was like a little amp. It's like a little tiny amp that you can hook up to the back of the car and the radio would amplify through that little speaker and you would be rocking out to some FM radio outside on your porch or wherever you'd be playing this awesome, awesome rock and roadster, you guys. Look at the colors on this thing. Absolutely amazing, guys. The box is actually in pres almost pristine condition for it being so old. And I love the old the old Hasbro logo there. I love that. That's awesome. So this is just one of the things, you guys. This is just one of the cool things. Now, for those of you who've already seen these on Facebook, here's an up close now of all the toys that I've, I've been picking up, man. Yeah, totally 80s epic. I know it, brother. I know it. Uh, Gem, the Gem movies, my, they made a movie? Really? Huh. Now, I'm working on, um, I think there was a stage, and I'm working on the, the dolls themselves. I know where they are. I know who has them. It's just a matter of, Wanting to spend the money on getting them. That's pretty much it. So next, we're going to move on because there's a lot more cool stuff like this, you guys. So I'm just going to put this away somewhere out of the way. 
And we'll get to the next. We'll get to the next one. Let's see here. Oh, the pickings. <coughs> oh, how about this one? I'll show you guys this one. This is pretty cool. Check this out, you guys. Now, this is also sealed. Let's see. This is from 1990. So this is 30 years old, and it's in immaculate condition. No, no type of bang-ups or, or creases or, or anything on this thing. So this is 1990s Beetlejuice Creepy Cruiser. Now, uh, if you guys remember, Beetlejuice was an awesome movie in the 80s, and they made an animated cartoon in the 90s. Now, that was an awesome cartoon, and they followed it up with, with, with toys, obviously. Oh, I'm getting a little dry in the mouth. Uh, let's see. I don't have any rescue rangers, unfortunately, but um, I'm and I'm also working on the carded figures of the Beetlejuice line. So, but everything takes time because everything that I'm picky on, it's it's I'm real picky. Like I I, I just don't buy anything because I gotta it's gotta pass my standards, and this is what. I believe my standards live up to every time I go out and hunt. Just check that out. Those figures look like they belong. This, especially this figure. That figure looks like it belongs with Ghostbusters because it looks so much like a Ghostbusters figure. And I'm sure that one gets confused with a Ghostbusters figure all the time. So if I honestly, if I had a Beetlejuice loose one of these, I would have it displayed already. So. I mean, I, I've never had Beetlejuice toys. By 1990, I was like 11 years old. So, um, these I would watch the cartoon, but I wouldn't I wouldn't get the toys. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a room tour. That would take way, way too long. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's going on, buddy? So, for those of you who didn't know, uh, my friend Eric, who's on, on right now, he's the one that... Almost 90% of the toys I'm going to show you today come from Eric. He's a hunter like no other up in Minnesota. And, um, yeah, this guy, this guy, this guy's, uh, he's my toy aficionado. He's the one that knows what I like. He knows what I would get it for. And he knows the condition I'm looking for it in. He knows what I like and what I'm, what I'm into. So, Every time he sees something, he lets me know right away. And if I like, I buy. If I don't, I tell him. And that's it's been great. It's been great, you guys. It's been amazing just coming up with awesome toys like this. Like when he showed me this, I was like, oh, my God, yes, buy. Buy, buy, buy. And by the way, this is from Kenner. Kenner made some pretty awesome toys as well. So we're going to move on to another set of toys. Hmm, let me go check out what else I got back there. Uh... Oh, someone's playing football. Oh, wait. Someone said, Chief, if you ever come to Tucson, Arizona, you definitely need to check out my friend's store. He has a lot of carded and loose figures, all negotiable prices. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's the kind of stuff I like to hear anyway. Okay, next up. Oh, man. Now, this is going to go with some other stuff. But uh, this is one, something particularly, I think it's, it's one of the rarest pieces I've seen in a very long time. Try looking for something like this. This hardly ever comes up. The one that comes up mostly is the Chickmunks um, tour van. It's like a big red van. That one's quite common. You never, ever come across the Chipettes. Picnic Bunny. This is from the Chickmunks. It was a cartoon back in the 80s. And the Chickmunks, the Chipettes were like their girlfriends, I want to say. I mean, loosely. 
put, but yeah, they're uh, who's who's in here? Kingsley's in here. What's going on, Kingsley? Kingsley's in here. Let's see. Uh, I just figured I uh, do some quarantine time with everyone, so that's why I'm on. Uh, then I did watch the Rise of Skywalker, and you'll never. I watched it with Yoshi, the guy who did the CGI for it. Um, he was he came down to San Antonio, uh, and he 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 spent the day with me and Eric, eight bit Eric, and we went around town, and we went to Eric's house, and then we went to go eat, and then we went to Eric's house again to watch the Rise of Skywalker. And he did like a director's commentary on everything, the Easter eggs in the movie. Like he was like freeze framing everything and showing us like, oh, I worked on this. Oh, and by the way, there's an Easter egg here and he pointed it out. And there's a bunch of stuff like that through the whole movie. He was telling us all the Easter eggs that were in the movie and all the stuff he worked on. And oh, it was an amazing experience. He brought it two weeks before the movie released. So they give them a, 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 a special copy of the movie before it comes out for sale. So I thought that was really cool. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hey, Chief, did you ever run out of room for your stuff? Do you have backup storage? I do. Do I do have a lot of uh, storage room. I do have plenty of storages. But the common misconception is that I keep everything and I don't. So a lot of the times when I'm purchasing stuff, I'm thinking in my mind, a customer at a con that I can go to and I can take this to and I know who I can sell this to. That's what I do with most of this stuff. I don't sell on eBay because I don't like packing and I don't like dealing with scammers. At cons, I can deal with you up front. I can shake your hand. We can deal on the negotiation. And that's fun for me, and I love that. And I know my customers, and I love having customers that I know they love my stuff, my wares. And that's why I do it. I, I do it. I don't keep everything. I would love to, but you got to make your money back somehow. You can't keep everything. If you kept everything, I think that's the wrong way to go about collecting. You can't keep everything. You just can't. You, there's just no way. There's just no physical way you can keep everything for sure. Uh, I have the Chepet's car. Do you really? That thing's pretty rare, man. Uh, I wanted that Godzilla game you posted on Facebook some time ago. Oh, that was back at Retro Palooza, and it was here for the longest time, but I just recently put it in storage. So yeah, that sucks. But listen, I never finished with the Chepet's toy. This is from. 1984, and it's made by Ideal Toys. Now, to go along with this, I have this entire box of Chickmunt stuff. So, we're just going to go one by one. So, here we have Uncle Harry in his best. I've I, I, I forgot this was even a figure. Oh, and by the way, here's what they all... This is the whole line back here. So Uncle Harry looks pretty good in his bubble. Card is unpunched. This is from 1984 as well, from Ideal Toys. That's Uncle Henry. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have another... I have another Uncle Henry with a yellow... He's uh, the, the bubble's a little yellow, but that's okay. And if you notice up here, the KB's price tag has a dollar on it. So back in 1984 or 5, these got clearanced out for a dollar. I wish I would have bought them for a dollar. <clears throat> so this is these are cool right here. So all three of these are, Al, are all the chick months putting all concert clothes. So you have Alvin in concert clothes. Pretty cool. He's got his little tuxedo thing going on there. He doesn't usually, he usually has that little A sweater. We have Simon 
in concert clothes. And then we have Theodore in concert clothes. So we have the whole set in concert clothes, which is pretty neat. I have two of the three Chipettes. So I have sweet Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor. She was Theodore's girlfriend. And then I have Simon's girlfriend, Gentle Jeanette. I don't have I don't have Brittany. Unfortunately, Brittany is missing. I don't have a Brittany. And then I have two doubles. I have two more doubles of the. Oh, and this one, this bubble's not yellowed like the first one. So this is a really nice version of it. Another Alvin in concert and another Theodore in concert. So those are doubles. Oh, here goes the Alvin with the A on it. Check that out. How cool is that? Um, oh, Captain Retro, what's up, buddy? That says, oh, bro, Captain Retro, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, shit, I didn't even tell you guys. Look at that. You see that? That's my coveted holy grail for anyone who has known me for as long as I've been on YouTube. Know that I've been after James Buster Douglas Knockout. For a very long time. Very long. Almost a decade. Over a decade. And I finally came up on it. And uh, I'm very happy. But I'll get to that after the toys. Shoot, I'm missing all these comments, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just all into my toys, man. Once you get me talking about my toys, I ain't shutting up for no comments. I ain't shutting up, man. I ain't shutting up. I ain't doing it. Uh... Falcro, what's up, buddy? Oh, man, wow. A lot of old names in here, man. What's up, bud? Uh, Noah, how's it going, my friend? Long time no see. Un unreal, right? Uh, yeah, wait till, wait till I get to, uh, wait till I get to what I got. So after the toys, I'll show you what I picked up. If you've already been on Facebook, then you already know, man. What's up, The Sound Within? Oh, that's a dope-ass name, man. So there's the Alvin. We have we have these little ones that are not as big as these. They're like little minis. Yeah, these are like little mini ones compared compared to these are a little smaller. See, so this one is uh, Alvin doing some boxing thing going on, which is pretty cool. Oh, and that's a double. I have two of those. I have two doubles. And then I have him in some type of superhuman Superman suit. And then I have him in an angel suit. And then I have this whole bag. I have this whole bag full of loose ones. And in this one, I do... Oh, no, that's still... That's not her. I have a, I have a somewhat Brittany here with missing her detail. That sucks. Yeah, that's are the only twos I got for them. But the rest are just Alvin and his brothers, Theodore. And I think even Uncle Henry's in there, too. Yeah, he's over here. Uncle Henry's over here. So, yeah, look at that. That's a pretty sweet monk call, if I do say so myself. I mean, you rarely come across this stuff. And when you do, you pick it up, just like I did, you guys. Be responsible. <laughs> Be responsible and buy up all the 80s toys. You do it. You do it. My God, I have so much stuff. It's unreal, you guys. It's this is this is actually a problem. This is actually a problem. Okay, that's enough of the chickmunk stuff. We're moving on. Okay, next up, I have a Tobot Powerbot. His name is Tobot. Uh, yeah, I do have Dick Tracy stuff. After, after this one, I'll show you some Dick Tracy stuff, man. 
I've got carded Dick Tracy like no one's freaking business. Uh, Will is at his house, my friend, with his with his legion of kids. Uh, you need to build a Scrooge McDuck vault and <laughs> swim around in your wonderful toys. I know it, brother. I kind of do already live in a vault. Uh, how you been, Chief? It's been good. Yeah, how's it going, Falcro? Long time no see, man. Hope to see you at the next Retropalooza in Houston next year. Uh, I would love to meow Royce, but uh, right now restaurants are closed and dumpster diving is full of coronavirus. Uh, let's see. The angel suit is based off an angel. The, the angel suit is based off an episode where Alvin thought he was a real angel. Really? That is some sick knowledge, my friend. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to the Dick Tracy stuff. Chief, do you have uh, Chickmunk plushies from Burger King? I don't. I don't. I didn't even know they made them. Didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, Powerbots. Uh, Powerbots. Okay. So, the story behind the PowerBot, right? Uh, a little while back ago, I was in... Where was I? I was, I was, in, I was in Dallas. Yeah, I was in Dallas with uh, Pixel Dan at this store called Retro Madness. And uh, we found... If you, I'm in the video, in Pixel Dan's video, I pick up this PowerBot... And I was like, whoa, I recognize this toy from when I was a kid. Like, I was already transforming him. And, and then I saw he was only five bucks, so I picked him up for five bucks. And I was, like, showing everybody. And everybody was like, ooh, what is it? Is it a GoBot? What is it? It's not a GoBot, my friends. It's just Mattel made these Transformers, obviously, to compete with the hot thing, Transforming Cars. And they made two versions of this. They made this SUV and they made a helicopter. But I grew up with this one. So this one, this thing right here, the wench, if you pull it forward, it, it retracts in. Or and then to to uh to to release it, you just pull it forward. But unfortunately, this one, the battery compartment is completely corroded, so it doesn't work. But it was I bought it anyway because it was so nostalgic. Well, a, a week, I think like a week later, Eric is at a toy show and he sees the power box because he saw it. He saw the video at Pixel Dan. He goes, bro, there's a sealed one right here. And I was like, get it for me. So got it for me. And now I have a sealed one in the box. Who would have thought this is from, what year is this? Doesn't even have a year, you guys. It's from the 80s, though. I can I can I can guarantee you this is from the 80s because I grew up with this toy. Um, let's see. Who stole money to buy Powerbot? Uh I'm work I I'm not sure, my friend. I'm not sure. I do have He-Man. Uh, Eric's been actually picking up a lot of He-Man for me, Lord Maloon. Um, that sounds really weird saying that out loud. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got a, I've got a whole shelf full of Motu. Oh shit! Speaking of Motu, you want? Uh, we're gonna get to this here in a second, but this is pretty cool. I just happened to have this by my foot. It's not a coincidence. I put it there. Snake Mountain. Woo! Check this bad boy out. Snake Mountain. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this, you guys. So my Skeletor I found for like a dollar. I found my, my Skeletor for like a dollar at uh, at a thrift store. But his legs are shot, man. Like, his legs are completely shot. So we're going to have him hang here. Get in there, buddy. going to have him hang here. And his girlfriend... His girlfriend...
girlfriend, Evelyn. She needs some space in there too, you guys. This is really cool. Can you guys even see me? No. Uh, let's see, Chief, do you need the slime pit? I don't have a slime pit, and they're kind of expensive. Uh, let's see, casual collector, what up? What are you going to start collecting? SS statues. I don't know what that is, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, wash the battery compartment. I tried, but when I did, I broke off one of the... I broke off a metal piece, the, the, the negative... The, the flap one that's sticking out, well, it broke off, so I'm screwed on that. Oh, uh, let's see. So, yeah, I saw the pics on Facebook, but where on earth did you find all that SMS stuff? What is it, a collector? It had to be, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I can't say, I can't really say Captain Retro, but yes, it was a collector, my friend. Yes, it was. Not just anybody, not just anybody has, uh, James Buster Douglas. So let me let me flip this around and show you what this side looks like. Look at that. So it has, uh, I think it has the uh, one piece of the, where'd it go? It has one piece of the bridge from the front. It's missing the battery compartment. Or the cover, which is not a big deal. They do sell them. It can be replaced. Overall, it looks really great. The stickers are amazing. Look at that. Nice and clear. They're not peeling. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping that. But Eric said it does work. So I'm going to trust Eric that it works. And uh, yeah, man. This stuff, this stuff, this is like one of the best looking snake mountains that i've seen oh my god it's it's immaculate like i just need to dust it off that's all it needs it's a nice little dusting so and i love this like a carrying case god they were so amazing back in the 80s weren't they they're just so dope they're full of they're so dope okay so back to power bots my favorite my favorite uh, 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 transforming SUV, Toyota. It looks like a Toyota. I think it does say Toyota. Yeah, it does say Toyota in the back. I remember that as a kid. So, yeah, I'm not opening this. I never will. This is going to stay sealed forever and ever and ever. So, let's get to some Dick Tracy stuff. Where is all my Dick Tracy stuff? I have a ton of... Of Dick Tracy carded figures, but I don't have them here. I probably do another live stream. I probably would do another live stream. So here's some Dick Tracy stuff. Here goes this. Oh my God, this immaculate looking Dick. AC doll figure. Holy shnikes, guys. This thing is clean. Look at him. He looks so clean. So nice. I talk like one of those auction guys that are trying to sell you this shit. I'm not selling you this shit. I'm just telling you how clean it looks. So also with this, you got this little micro machine from... Er well, they're Ertles. They're not micro machines, but they copied micro machines. And they had these cool little... Uh, cars from the movie and then I have this Ertl just like how Bat the Batman the Batmobile came out in a in an Ertl die cast they made one for, for Dick Tracy's car as well and these are from 1990 I believe yeah this movie came out in 1990 so yeah look at this check out his hat back there and his gun I put something on top I, I, I actually put a box on top of it and it, and then the glue unglued it, but that's an easy fix. The box is in immaculate condition. And it says Toys R Us for 20 bucks. I love toys. I love toys that still have 
the uh, the Toys R Us tags, man. I love that stuff. So, uh, let's see. Oh, some more. I got these. I got these at a uh, toy show. I can't remember which toy show. But I did get them at a toy show, and I got them pretty cheap. And I think some I got from Eric, but some I got from a toy show as well. I got two Dick Tracys. One's loose. One has his uh, gun in his billy club. So there's two Dick Tracys. I don't think they're going to stand, man. I don't think they're going to stand. They're not going to stand, man. Then I have Prune Face with his demolition detonator. Then I have... I can't remember his... I can't remember his name. I don't remember his name. But he looks cool, too. And then... I have two of the Al Pacino's, the boss. I have two of his figures. And then I have, I don't remember his name, but I have a gun in here. I don't know who that belongs to. So, and I, there's a ton more carded, but I I have them in, in, a, in a tote. I'll show you those in another stream, but not today. Not today. So that's it for the Dick Tracy stuff. For the moment, for the moment, my friends, let's see what to show you, what to show you. Woo, this is pretty cool. Gonna show you my Punky Brewster doll. Woo, check it out, guys. Celine Moon Fry, when she was a kid, she was a punky Brewster. She was cool. This was a cool show, man. You guys got to understand, growing up in the 80s, this stuff was cool. Galoob made this. Huh. So, I heard it from the grapevine that they're actually revising the show. Did you move, kid? Sometimes you gotta straighten her. You gotta get her straight, cause she likes to shift in there. I don't know if she was wired, wire tied down or something, but she's loose in there now. <sighs> hey, what's up, Abel? I'm from Texas. Well, actually, I'm from Chicago, but now I live in Texas. Uh, Mumbles. Damn it, that's what the name of the guy was. Mumbles. Thank you, Franco. That's what his name is. Cool. Uh, what's up, Robert? Uh, let's see. Yeah. They are... This was from... The show was from 1984. I grew up watching Punky. I loved that show. It was awesome. And uh, when I found out, I think like a few weeks ago... That they were remaking the show. I was, and Celine Moon Fry is actually all, all behind it. So that's a nice little um, bit of information for you for the future to, to look out for a newly revised Punky Brewster. I don't know where it's going to be airing, but I know that the, the show's trying to get back up and uh, going. I think they're just looking for the money to get it going. Which, if they did a Kickstarter, I would definitely not mind in contributing let's see uh what's up john what's going on buddy so let's go ahead and try some other toy over there because punky was cool but uh there's only so much you can talk about punky let's see let's see what we got going on over here huh? Oh my god, you guys. Who who remembers new kids on the block? Woohoo! Check it out, man. 
Check it out. Five points to whoever can guess all the names in a row real quick. Someone gets a shot out if they can name all of them in one go. The right stuff. You're right, Franco. The right stuff. This, this You got to understand, you guys. The 90s growing up was one of the best eras. 80s and 90s toys was the best time. The absolute best time to get toys, you guys. I'm going to open this for you. Check it out. This is what it looks like. This is what the what, the, what 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 all comes in there. The figures don't come in here. The figures do not come in here. Uh, Eric, Joe, Biff, Mike, Walter, and Tom. No, that's all wrong. No shout out for you. Oh yeah, Eric knows where to get the figures because he there's a place he goes to that has the figures. Oh my God, I forgot this. Check out this stuff, guys. This is cool. It's getting hot in my room without the AC. I'm sacrificing for you guys. Sweet Jesus, I got lights all on me. I'm roasting here. Look, everything's on its pegs. It's sealed. It's sealed. Look, it's all brand new. It's all brand new. All the stage, those are all the amps. These are the stands. Look, here's all the instruments. Look at all the instruments. So cool. Joey, Jordan, Donnie, Danny, and John. Were you the first one? Yes. Zombie. Jate Jit one. I hope I said that right. Good for you. I actually did that on purpose. I couldn't remember the name. So I just, I just, you, honestly, zombie, I used you. And I'm glad you fell for it because I needed that information. But shout outs to you, my friend. So look at this stage, guys. Oh my God. No way. Look. Oh, so cool. What? Look at Donnie. Look at Donnie. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look. Look. Was that Danny? That's Danny, I think. There's, a, there's another Donnie. Oh, my God. Look how cute he looks. Look at Joey. And Jordan? Was that Jordan? No, that's not Jordan. That's Joey on top. Jordan's over here. Jordan's over here. See that? Here's the whole band. So cool. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. Look at this. Look at look at how pristine the 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 instruction manual is. And here's some stickers. Look at that. You can't you can't you can't touch me right now with this stuff. You can't. You can't. I'm I'm done. I retire. That's how cool I am. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, so awesome, you guys. Someone just named the turtles. Those aren't the turtles. My cousin was obsessed with this. This is the only reason I know was because all my girl cousins in the 90s were in love with these guys. They wore their pins. They wore their shirts. They sang their songs. They bought their dolls. They went to their concerts. They, if they sold their bath water back then, they would have bought that too. And that's how I, I knew about the new kids on the block was because of my cousin, my girl cousins. So when when I saw this on the shelf through pictures, I was like, yo, you got to get that for me. That's the guy. You know who's crazy about new kids on the block? Jay from the Game Chasers. That guy's nuts. That guy's nuts. Jay, I love you to death, but you're freaking nuts when it comes to to new kids on the block for for three weeks i rode around in jay's front car front seat of his car 
listening to Hang Tough. He would have it on repeat, you guys. That guy's nuts. He's nuts. I love him, though. I love him. He's my guy. I love him. But damn it, that guy loves New Kids on the Block just a little too much. Next toys. I don't have time to put this shit away, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cart it away. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cart it away. Next. This shit's crazy. I told you. I told you guys this shit was crazy. Woo! Check it out. Sealed. Captain Power. Power laser set. You can't mess with me. You can't mess with this, bro. You can't. You can't. This is... What you know about this? I grew up with this. I asked my dad for Christmas to get me this. I mean... Oh, I. you know what else I have? Let me show you this. So... Let's see if I can find it. There it is. So Captain Power used to be these toys that you used to put in these VCR. It, it, it required a VCR, first of all. So right away, the toys are going to be expensive because you can't play with it. You can play with other kids, but nine times out of kid, ten, no other kids aren't going to have this. So if you wanted to play by yourself, I know that's don't no pun intended, you would pop in the VHS, and with your 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 weapon or your your vehicle, you'd shoot at the TV, playing the VCR. Now that was very innovative for nineteen. What year did it? Eighty seven. 1987, you guys. So, I don't have any more of the, of the vehicles, but I came across this. Eric came across this, and I said, I need that. And it's completely sealed. So, back in the 80s, there was this huge craze with lasers. Everything was lasers back in the 80s. Pew, pew, pew. So... You had to use your imagination when it came to these because they didn't actually use lasers, <laughs> obviously. But you went around just like another toy called Laser Tag. So they were trying to compete with Laser Tag, which was taking off like wildfire. Everyone I knew had a set of Laser Tag toys, except for me, because big boys don't fit in those vests. Uh, at the best, they would ar they would be armbands, but not 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 chests for sure. And uh, so you would put these on, and you'd shoot at them, and you'd light up. And that's it. That's all they do. If this was open, I'd show you, but uh, it's not. Staying sealed. This is one of the cool things. Now I'm going to show you their competitor. Um, yeah, laser tag was way better, Franco. I completely agree. Uh, I'm going to shit on this. Sets with the laser tag. I'm not gonna literally shit on it. I just, just this, that's just a form. That's just a, that's just a phrase. Just an expression. Laser tag. Now, however, was what all the kids were raving about. So these, they came with these little little sensors here and it come on a, on a vest you put it on a vest or you strap it on somehow and you shoot each other from far away and it'd go off like sirens now this is open you guys i can i can't open this because it was already open but i want to show you guys the condition just check out this condition the condition the condition it was in is that it? Yep. So check this out. Did I open it the right way? No. Oh, there's the instructions. Check out how clean the instructions look. Sick. Sick. Wow. Look at that. Look how clean that looks, you guys. 
So here's that strap I told you that you would have to put the, the sensor. Oh my goodness. You would have to put this sensor on. And I, there's Velcro in the back. So I'm guessing that's how it stuck on to the, the strap. I don't know what this is for. Oh, this is your holster. This is the holster for the gun. How cool is that? And here's the, all the registration and the other pamphlets. This is cool. I didn't know it, it had that. And then look at the gun. Pew, pew, pew. This, my friends, was everything in 87. Man, if you had this, you were cool, dude. Man, look what the rubber band did. This used to be a rubber band, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. That has hardened. Toys were not meant to last this long. I'm sorry, guys, but toys... Toys just disintegrate. Toys just toys just just fade away. They weren't they were meant to be played, not collected. When a toy was made back in the day, they never thought people were gonna collect this stuff. So they made it with cheap plastic. It wasn't ever gonna last. So that's the laser tag. Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm missing your uh the photon. I do, I'll show you something else here in a second. Um, the star helmet. I never had the star helmet, unfortunately. Let's see. Yeah, this stuff, this stuff was some of the best time-killing toys, 80s style, that you could get. You can't get no better than laser tag for when you, when you, when friends, when all your friends had it and you had it. You were in for a good time. Good time for sure. I just don't want to mess up any any creases. So that's that's the gun set, the game kit. Next, we have the star base. Now, this thing was something you just plopped in the middle of the room. And it would you would shoot it, and it would shoot you. Oh, it looks really complicated to get out. But check that out, you guys. This thing. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Man, this is so cool, you guys. This is, oh, man. To have gotten this as a toy back in the day with your friends, playing with your friends, I can only imagine... I, 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 like I said, I, the majority of the people never really, a lot of kids had it, but I mean, let's be real. A lot of us didn't. And then to find more friends, I had some, my cousin had it. I know my cousin, we, we played out in the streets. Oh, I'm going to put this back. That's going to take some time to put back. Okay, next up, we have Masters of the Universe board game. I'm going to take this out here in a second. Check this out, you guys. This is a really cool... I put this, I put this in bags already. I just wanted to show you... Oh, I guess I didn't put them in bags. I thought I did. But that's what the front looks like. The game. This is the game board. And then here's the spinner. And the instructions. 
And then all the pieces. You got He-Man, Skeletor, Beast Man, Tila, Man at Arms, and Merman. And then all their all their standing pieces. So I've never played it. It looks like a simple game to play. Quite honestly, it, it looks very simple. <laughs> I mean, one of the simplest looking games I've come across from the 80s. This is pretty bare bones when it comes to, to board games. But uh, they made everything and anything into a board game back then, you guys. Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Next up, we have some cool looking ALF toys. Now, who remembers ALF? Who remembers ALF? Not just the show ALF. I'm talking about the cartoon ALF. When he was in Melmac. When he was Gordon Shumway. His name was actually Gordon Shumway. And he had a girlfriend named Rhonda. Which is this one right here. Help me Rhonda. Help, help me Rhonda. Uh, what's up Mark? How's it going? Uh, let's see. Chief, what kind of big wheel did you show off? Big wheel? I don't think I did show off a big wheel. The only thing that comes close to a big wheel is the power bots. The power bot tow bot from Mattel. That's the only thing I've had. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. I haven't thought about them in years. Oh, man. The cartoon was an oven that gets stuck in your head. Yes. Alf Tales. That's what it was. This was so cool. This was such a cool cartoon, man. I love this cartoon. So there's six figures in all. There's six figures. I've only got three. I'm needing uh, Rick with his Sonic board. I need Augie with the family dog Meep. And I need Gordon with his Warp 1. So I still got three more figures to collect. So I'm not done with the ALF line. The ALF line is only three, six figures long. So um, it's not hard. It won't be hard. Chief, I don't have a My Buddy. I, I used to. My brother did, but I never did. But I played with him because he was my brother's. So uh, I kind of had a My Buddy, but I don't have one now. Uh... Childhood, childhood movies. Oh, by far the 1990 uh, uh, TMNT movie for sure, for sure. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else toy wise? I have a lot of toys. Just a matter of getting. Oh, I forgot. I did. I found this at Goodwill, you guys. I found this at Goodwill. It's on my shelf at the moment. I have it displayed on my shelf. I'm not going to bring it down from my shelf. But I found this. I found this. Uh, junk Bot Wrecker from Crash Dummies. Oh, uh, man. This thing was an awesome find. It was at Goodwill. Um, I came up on the Goodwill cart that they push out from the back. And this was sitting right on top. If you're on my Facebook, you saw the video. I took video of me finding this thing for like four bucks. It was so amazing. There's so many parts to this, you guys. It's unfreaking real. This is one of the most amazing things I've found in a long time. This is the kind of stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I get high on. Like when I come across something like this, this is. That's the high I'm looking for. When I see something like this and I recognize it from far away, my heart starts to pump and I'm just like, ooh, ooh. And I keep my, I try and keep my poker face on because if I start showing people around me that I'm excited over something I found, then they think I found treasure. So then they start looking too. So I have to keep my cool when I find stuff like this, but it's hard to contain myself. So then I bust out the camera to show proof that I found it at a Goodwill. And uh, that's what I do. So this is awesome. And I I did not only find this. I also found 
a lot of figures from Savers. Oh, uh, let me see where those are at, you guys. I know they're around here somewhere. I know. I know they're here. I found them. I found them, you guys. Oh, shnikes. I forgot about that. So I found all these in in like two or three dollar bags from savers they were all like in these bags i put them on facebook if you were on my facebook you saw this stuff so here's the here's the the crash uh cab it's all here you guys it's all here i sound like jimmy two times Look at that. Fuck. Okay. So when this thing bumps, all this shit comes flying out and it makes a mess. You don't want that. So then you have this. How the hell does it... Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Sidecar. Oh, looks great. Again, once it hits something, the sidecar pops off. This thing ejects the the, crack, the dummy. And then this part, as you've seen, comes off. Then you have this thing. I don't know exactly what the purpose of this is for. I think it goes like, I think it just, yeah, it goes back there. Uh, I don't know exactly how it goes about crashing, but that looks really cool. So cool. And then the last, the last vehicle is like this, like this tow, like a tow, like a mower, some type of mower. See, look at that, so cool. And then again, when you bump this, the seat ejects, the crash, the dummy, the crash dummy. And then, oh, here goes the taxi. Oh, and then there's like a, a little thing of tools. What's up, Tiger Gaming? So these parts, these little buttons, oh, these little buttons, when they get pressed, all these little limbs come flying off. So that's one little guy, one guy. Look at this little, look at this little guy. Oh, look at him. He's a Tywin, Tywin Lannister right here. Look at this, look at this, so cool. We'll put him. Put him in there. Then we got this guy. And I'm pretty sure you can like interchange them. I'm pretty sure. I'm not. Can you see that? No, you can't see that far back. Oh, and this is the windshield to this thing. Yeah, see the windshield? And then, this guy's a bitch. This guy sucks. He won't, like, stay still. Like, he won't stay together. He's very finicky. He, he, I mean, he'll stay there, but he... See what I mean? He's very finicky. Come on. Like this? You got to hold him like this, because he's, he's, like, so... He's such a jerk. And then, like, there's these, all these little toys or tools. I don't know if you can see that. They're like tools, and they go in the little toolbox. I'm not sure if this goes with the set or not, but it came in the bags. So they go with the set now. 
So, and that's all the Crash Test Dummy stuff. Super cool toy line, you guys. This is a, such a super cool toy line. I love it. I absolutely love this toy line. I have many carded figures of the test of the test dummies, a lot of them. So I'm gonna, at some point, I'm gonna show you. At some point, I'm gonna show you the uh, the carded figures. The carded figures are really cool. Let me see what else I can find over here for you guys. I can't get to the toys that I want. Oh, I found this yesterday. I don't know if you guys, you guys seen this. This is new. I know it's not retro. It's not, but it's it's something I found. I thought it was cool because it's a Superman, some crazy ass wicked armor. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the shit this is from, but it looks cool. So I got it. He looked awesome. And then I got this X-Men carrying case from my awesome buddy Eric. It comes with both comes with both uh, inserts in immaculate condition, you guys. Oh I love this carrying case. It looks so nice. Look at that. Look at the artwork on that. So cool. And the handles in pristine condition. Very nice. Okay, now I'm going to show you some Sega Master System stuff. And I believe for tonight, that will be it. Because I'm out of stuff to show you. <laughs> That's in my room anyway. I'd have to go get more. All that turtle stuff, I can show you all that turtle stuff. I can show you all that uh, some uh, in some other stream. There's a lot like behind there and stuff. So let me go ahead and show you this bad boy. Look at this. This is a 1991 Sega Master System 2. Can you believe it? Part number two. Uh, I, I'm not a stranger to them. I have, I have quite the collection. I have quite the collection of them. They're, they're a little dusty from being on the shelf for so long. But this is what it looks like. This one's modded to take RCAs. I got this one from my buddy um, from New Zealand. He came to a retro palooza a long time ago. And uh, he brought that modded one for me. I got this one. I think this is the PAL version. This is the PAL version, I believe. Yeah, this is the PAL version. Because um, you can tell the difference in color. Black and gray. And that's basically what this is. But this one is Brent Spinking New. Look at this. Check that out. I ain't taking that out. But it's 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 all pristine, man. Like everything just smells new. So yeah, that's a new one. So there's that one. That's a cool... Oh, and I've got the games that I bought over here. These are the games that I bought. Along with the James Buster Douglas. I bought all this. That. I bought this. And some other stuff that I'm going to show you here in a second. 
So we got Jurassic Park. I've never played this one. This is PAL. This is not NTSC. This isn't this one isn't from the library from the, the NTSC library. This one's a PAL. So uh also this one, Tom and Jerry the movie. This was also PAL. This was not an American release. Also, Shadow Dancer. It's like a ninja, like a like a shinobi, shinobi type game, or it is shinobi. And this was also PAL. This was not an American release. Uh, this is the NTSC Moonwalker. This is not the PAL version Moonwalker. This is our version of the Moonwalker. I already have a PAL version of the Moonwalker, and I already have another version of. It's up there. So this is a this is a double. Jesus, this is, these are all doubles. This these are basically all upgrades. So, or I'm gonna go through them and see which one's an upgrade, and I'll sell. I guess my ver my nastier version. Here's King's Quest. Really good copy of King's Quest. Here we have Golden Axe Warrior. This is my second copy of Golden Axe Warrior. Super expensive, you guys. Uh, we got Ease. The I, that's my second copy up there. The other one's up there. This is another hard one to get. Super Monaco GP. If you're a Sega Master System collector, you know this is a super hard game to get. Along with, along with the barcode. The bark. There's only three games that came with barcodes. The Sonic. Spider-Man and Golden Axe Warrior. These three came with certain barcodes on the back of them. And they're on the outside. They're not on the inside of the paper. They're on the outside label. They just stuck a UPC on them. And they sold them like that. Uh, let's see. Alex Kidd and Shinobi World. Sweet game, you guys. Awesome, awesome game. Uh, no, my another cop. This is like my fourth copy of Fantasy Star. I'm hoarding all the Fantasy Stars because during the apocalypse, this is going to be currency. This is going to be the world's currency right here, guys, because everyone loves this game. I'm riding the apocalypse as a millionaire right now, guys. Um, Ghouls and Ghosts. That's my second version, my second copy of Ghouls and Ghosts. So, uh, yeah, those are all the games that I picked up. Sweet doubles. These are all basically doubles, except for the James Buster Douglas. With the James Buster Douglas, my NTSC library is now complete. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I retired. I'm done you guys i'm done i don't need to look for it anymore now i even have doubles i even have doubles so next check this out i don't know why did i do this so two of these were from the collector and this one was from uh uh a store somewhere in arlington I can't remember the name, but I, but see, there's differences. These are color faded. These are all color faded, and this is all beautiful white. You can't really see it through the camera, but these are in immaculate condition. You guys, check out, check out these conditions. Look at this. Oh, and I've already got, I've already gotten like two other phasers. So this is like. Five phasers. Sweet Jesus. What is this? How to make the light gun for your Amiga. Written by Big Brother and Edison Carter. I don't know what this is, but look at the spreadsheets. This is so cool. I don't know why that's in there. Look at that. Brand spanking new, you guys. Never used. Never used. Oh. I love this stuff. So good. It's going to be a while before you finish 
collecting all your stuff, zombie. This stuff's hard. It's, it's coming. It's getting more and more expensive. It's getting more and more expensive. All right. So next we have another box master system. I have quite a few of these now. These is this. I have six. Six, maybe seven boxed Master Systems. There's one there. There's three more down there. There's this one. And then there's another one. But I have different, like, versions. Like, uh, they're variants. Let's see if I can reach one. See, like... There's this base Master System. This is the base model. That doesn't come with the gun. So this is just the regular base model one. Then you have the one that everyone pretty much got. I got like three or four of these. I've got like three or four of those. And then I got... Uh, this version... This one was another model that came, that was like another uh, of the other one, but it was different. It's a different, obviously, facing on it. And then my favorite, my all-time favorite, is the Sega... Whew. The Sega Scope 3D. Sweet Jesus. This thing's a monster, ain't it? Look at this thing. Whoo, this thing is awesome. I love it. So this thing came with the phaser and the 3D glasses. That's why this thing is like, like just super hard to find, man. You like, the 3D, the one that came with the 3D scope with the 3D glass. I have the 3D, I have several 3D, right there, see, look, right there. I have that one and I have that one up there and they're both boxed. Now I have the one that comes with the Sega Master System, so. Man, I'm a happy camper. And I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I think... I think that's enough. Oh, did I ever show you guys my Batman bank? I don't think I ever showed you that. Along with my Batman dinner tray. Did I ever show you that? I eat off this. You know that, right? I, I eat. This is this. I literally eat. I literally eat breakfast off this. I'm an 80s guy. Woo! I am tired, you guys. And I'm getting hot. I'm, get, I'm getting hot, you guys. Oh, God. How long has it been? How long? How long has this been going on? How long? Because I'm out of toys. I'm out of toys. And I'm not out of toys. I got a lot of toys. But I'm, I'm currently out of toys of reach. Like, I can't reach anymore. Because they're like all over the place and I haven't brought them down. Oh, that's right. There's a ton. There's a ton up there. There's some up there. There's some in, an up, there's some in my other storage. Uh, oh, I do. I have, uh, Eric, I do have the Robert, Roger Rabbit stuff. It's all in totes in, in, in the apartment. In another apartment I have upstairs. Uh, I got stuff everywhere. I got, I got, I got masters. I got stuff everywhere, you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more stuff together. I'm gonna get some more stuff together, and uh, I'm gonna get it close by me, so that I won't have to be doing all this running. I'm gonna have to be doing this running around stuff still. It doesn't matter, but uh, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have any more stuff by me to show you guys. I think I, ha I don't know if you've seen this. This might be cool. 
my Urkel, my Urkel board game. That's something cool I found recently. Uh, this is cool. Oh, I found this too. I found one of these. Sega Genesis. I don't know what the hell. Sega Genesis 3s. I found one of those a little a couple weeks ago. Mm, oh, yeah. I just got turtle stuff too that I got to show. Oh, man, I got a lot of shit more I got to show you guys, bro. Whoo, I got stuff. I got stuff to show you guys, for real. So, uh, maybe, maybe in another stream, maybe Saturday, maybe tomorrow, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Might delete later, I don't know, feeling cute. So, I hope, uh, I, I hope that uh, you guys liked it, I really do, I hope you guys enjoyed the time I'm, I, I, uh, came on here with i don't know how, how long the time's been um but i'm really hot because i had to turn off the ac because then it's you guys will be complaining that you can't hear me so um it was great talking to you guys man so many names that i recognized here so many names i love it i love that you guys are still here watching that anytime i come on you guys are here supportive um I don't come on here to, I'm not on here for like uh, donations or I, I'm coming on here to ask for money. I'm not that. I'm just on here because I thought I'd share the stuff that I've been buying and I thought you guys would like it in this quarantine time and you guys would uh, appreciate some quality time with Chief. That's all I was thinking. So don't ever, I don't want no one thinking bad that, oh, he's coming on to try and get money. Nope. It's not the case. I don't even want you to like this video. I don't even want you to share it. I don't I don't do any of that anymore. So I just jump on to see old friends to talk to you guys. Love you guys. I love it. I love just because I'm not on doesn't mean I don't miss you guys or I love all you guys, really. Every time I see you, I I'm here. I, I just feel amazed that you guys are still following me sometimes. It's it's pretty crazy. I love it. It's pretty cool. So, I hope you guys are safe during this quarantine. Remember to social distance, six feet apart. Do, do one of these instead of handshakes. Um, don't hoard the toilet paper. Stop buying all the goddamn toilet paper. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, that's it. I love you guys. You guys rock. And uh, we'll see you, I don't know when, I'll, I'll do another stream, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I'll gather some more stuff, and uh, we'll have another rocking, tooting, shooting time. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I blocked my path with Sega Master System boxes. Jesus Christ, that's one of them... First world good problems, man.